What is your name? My name is Rory. Who do you work for? I work for Sensor 404. What barriers do disabled people face when looking for work? Uh, I think disabled people face a few barriers when looking for work. So I think firstly, maybe people might know, not know if jobs are suited for them. They might not know about the kind of support they can receive whilst in a job if they do need any additional support. Um, and I think actually employers uh, maybe don't do enough to kind of show that they, are, they would, would employ people from a range of backgrounds, including disabled people. Do disabled people face discrimination at work? So in my job, we have a few people who, who, are, who we support who uh, work. I haven't known of any individual cases of people facing discrimination, but I do know that in general, uh, disabled people do face discrimination in society at large. Um, and actually things like hate crimes are up on the rise, especially since COVID. Um, and so I wouldn't be surprised if, if people face discrimination in, in employment as well. Uh, but I don't know ex exactly the figures on that. Is Camden a good bar for employing disabled people? Well, I know that Camden does work to try and help disabled people get into work. So there are specific kind of um, posts open within the local authority that try and support disabled people to find employment. So that's really good. Uh, I do think, from what I know, Camden is, I think, a bit below the national average of disabled people being in work, um, but they're around the same as the London average. So I think they're probably around the same as, as London, um, but maybe it would be good for, for them to do a little bit more. Do you enjoy your job? Yeah, I do enjoy my job. Yeah, it's very busy, but I enjoy it. What needs to be done to make sure more disabled people get work? Uh, this, this is a big question. I think there's lots of things. I think number one is um, people need to work together. So people who support disabled people, um, employers and maybe other like specialist services need to make sure they're all working together to make sure first of all disabled people are applying for jobs, secondly that they're getting jobs and thirdly that they're supported well when, a, when they're in a job. Um, so I think lots of teamwork. I think maybe also acknowledging that there is a, you know, that maybe there could be could be some more people in work, um, you know, and that also employment doesn't always need to be kind of full time, lots of hours and, and you know, long days. Employment could be a, a really wide array of things. It could even be working one or two hours a week. Um, so I think it's about finding the right employment for the right person. What kind of help does the service provide? So we're not necessarily directly involved with the support if someone is in work, but I think often we'll support people and one of their, um, say, goals might be to find employment. So the person working with the person we support would look at like job posts with the person, help them work out exactly what it is they might want, what kind of work they might want to be doing, uh, look at job posts, and potentially help with applications. And one of the main things we can do as well is help facilitate and help people along to other services like specialist services. So there's like a job hub um, and there are job coaches as well within Camden that can help disabled people find work and then be supported in work. So it's about us talking to those services and making sure they're linked in with the right people. Thank you. Thank you. Oh.